Hey, hey friends, welcome back to another SMMP Reviews YouTube video. I'm Kennedy Good, nurse practitioner and facilitator with SMMP Reviews, and today we're going to discuss the levels of health promotion and disease prevention, so let's dive in. So first, we're going to discuss primary prevention. They did us a nice favor as we were easily able to remember this by thinking primary equals preventing, meaning at this level, we are solely working to prevent disease. So how do we do that? As nurse practitioners, we should always be working to prevent disease through education. Educating our patients and the community is so important, as if patients know the risks of disease, they may work harder to prevent these from occurring through lifestyle modifications or even making it a point to attend those doctor appointments regularly. Another way we can prevent disease is through vaccinations. Science has shown us that vaccines work and can prevent disease, and therefore this is a big part of our primary prevention. Next up is secondary prevention, and again, we can think of that first letter and simply think secondary equals screening. Secondary prevention is all about those screenings, and screenings can include simply checking our patient's blood pressure at each visit or ordering mammograms at the appropriate intervals in women. Another way we may screen may be through our depression, anxiety, and even fall risk screenings. These are all so important in keeping our patients safe and healthy. And then last but not least, we have tertiary prevention. And once again, we can think tertiary equals treatment. They really made it that easy for us. So with tertiary treatment, we are preventing the condition after it occurs. There's a few different ways we can use this level of prevention. One way would be rehab after a patient suffers a stroke. The condition has already occurred and now we are working to rehabilitate the patient back to their baseline as much as we can. Another way would be if a patient has a history of drug abuse and is now attending support groups to help manage their addiction. And lastly would be as simply as a diabetic patient taking metformin to help lower their A1C. These are all examples of tertiary prevention. So let's work through some scenarios and I want you to think about which level of pre prevention each of these represents. So our first question, a 71 year old female presents for her annual wellness visit. She states it's been three years since her last DEXA scan, and the nurse practitioner discusses with the patient why her DEXA scans are so important in relation to her bone health. The nurse practitioner also places an order for an updated DEXA scan. Which level of prevention would the nurse practitioner be practicing by ordering the DEXA scan? I'm going to give you a few moments to think. So this is going to be secondary prevention, and this one's a little bit tricky as in the beginning of the question, the nurse practitioner is providing education on the importance of the DEXA scan, but the NP ordering the DEXA scan would be secondary as we are screening for possible osteopenia, osteoporosis. All right, so up next, the nurse practitioner is working in a pulmonology office. The NP sees an 18 year old boy with a past medical history of asthma and recommends the flu vaccine, which he gives consent for today. Which level of prevention is being discussed here? I'm gonna give you another few moments. So this is going to be primary prevention. We are preventing disease or illness here by administering that flu vaccine, especially in our patients who are more at risk, such as this one. Vaccines are often forgot about in the aspect of primary prevention, but this is definitely something that can prevent our patients from becoming sick. And then last question here. The nurse practitioner is seeing a 46-year-old male patient who recently fell off a ladder at work. He reports he went to the emergency room and they diagnosed him with a muscle strain and they also prescribed him some muscle relaxers, but he's still hurting pretty bad. The nurse practitioner decides to order physical therapy for four weeks. Which level of prevention would physical therapy be for this patient? I'll give you a few moments. All right, and if you're thinking tertiary, you are correct. With tertiary, we are treating our patient. In this case, he has that diagnosis of a muscle strain, so we are further treating him and helping him to strengthen his muscles with physical therapy. All right, friends, we have worked through each of our different types of prevention, and I hope this helped break them down for you for easier understanding. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more YouTube videos coming to our channel soon. See you later.